Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Today we are talking about how to prestige in Wizards Unite. We're going to be going into where you actually do that and what you get in rewards for it and all the different levels that you have of prestige. If you're interested in seeing any more content like this, make sure to hit subscribe. I'll be putting out content related to Wizards Unite about everything, covering everything that you need to know about the game. So, how does prestige work? This is something that I really wanted to see within Wizards Unite. I think it was one of the things I put in my theory video about, you know, what 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 could they put in to make it better than Pokemon Go? In my opinion, Pokemon Go should have a prestige system. There's so many people at level 40. I think Reversal just went to level 2000 we had 200 million xp which was like leveling five times or 10 times if it's 20 million i can't remember but a lot of times and it would be nice to see some reward for that even if it was just like a logo or a different piece of clothing in call of duty the prestige system works really well because it's always you know it's always there the symbol that tells you this person is this experienced this is how much this person has put work into it so we're not going to see anything like that in terms of icons it doesn't look like, them, but you are going to get rewarded the more you play. And this is how it works. So here in the registry, we can see that there are a selection of different things. We have, uh, I think there's Bookbeat there, a Baby Norwegian, Ridgeback, Hagrid's Hut, and a Wild Abraxan. All these things, once you find the, the, the amount that it requests of, so Hagrid is 1 there, uh, Bookbeak is 11, the Dragon is 8, but we see the Abraxan has 15. Once you've acquired all those different foundables, what happens is you will automatically get a pop-up. Now this pop-up will tell you, do you want to prestige? So you don't need to do it, but if you do, it will increase the amount of foundables that you have to find for each one. So it increase the amount of like stamps you need. So Hagrid, I know in the challenges section, I've seen videos of it go from like four to 12 as the next kind of step up. So I don't know whether it's like three times as much. So you can see that it will become harder and harder to prestige. So those with the highest prestige will be people who has, who, you know, really grinded. Now, how will the Prestige system change how the game looks? So we're going to be going over to Wizards Unite World. Uh, if you haven't checked these guys out, go for the it's a really good site for finding information on the game. So here we can see a frame. So this is the frame that we see here surrounding Hagrid's Hut and all those confoundables or foundables. And what will what it will happen is it changes for each one. So here's your beginner's one, Prestige Frame 1. Here's the second one, and as we go higher, we're gonna get silver, and gold is gonna be the end one. Now, I imagine that is gonna be, you know, you're gonna to have to get loads for it to get that. And I'm unsure if there's gonna be any, you know, actual rewards in way of equipment, but I would like to see something that you could show off potentially uh, in game that, I know we don't have a PVP feature at the moment, but even if it was just being able to walk around with a cool new hat, because Hogwarts Mystery does this very well in terms of, you know, customizable outfits and gear. If we switch to landscape, we can see that within the, the Hogwarts Mystery and Pokemon Go does it really well is they give you the ability, you know, for completing certain achievements that you will get different outfits, a Pikachu hat, a new backpack. And in Wizards Hogwarts Mystery, Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery, they do this pretty good because you've got your clothes accessories and you can customize your player. Now it'd be nice to see that the avatar would change uh, with that. There has been, I think that it, you know, the, the current beta we don't. It's just a generic um, wizard that has a no face. Uh, but there has been talk of that, that that will be coming in the game. I'd like to see the ability to customize. You know, these are outfits that I've, I've played with them and won along with different events. But maybe if you prestige, you get like a, an outfit that's, that's really cool. And I'd like to see that in the game. But as far as we know, the rewards that you will be getting are increased XP. So the higher your prestige level, when you find a foundable, say Hagrid foundable, it will give you more XP than it did at the previous level. So it's going to be a real, it's going to be something that contributes quite nicely to leveling your character up. Being that there are 60 levels in this game, as far as we're aware, uh, it means you're probably going to need these to help you along the way, especially during those last couple of levels. So increased 
XP, along with bragging rights for higher prestige. For me, it's going to be like a pride thing. I want to get everything gold. It's like an achievement thing. It's I'm a, I'm a completionist, and if you get everything in gold, you you have you have maxed it. And we don't know if they're going to bring out like a platinum prestige level as well. But I'm excited for this in the future. So that is how it works. That is how you're going to prestige in the game. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it. Do you think it's a good system? Do you like how it's going to work in the game? And let me know if anybody has prestige to like a the gold level. Let me know in the comment section below how much did it require, you know, how many, you know, the Hagrid one, how many foundables did you need to find for it to become gold? Apart from that, when I find that information out, I will probably be putting an up, updated, uh, updated video out for you on that. So look out for that. If you subscribe, if you want to keep up to date with that content and information. Apart from that, that is all for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video and I will see you in the next one.